and shake your booties for black girl nerds. Oh, hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've um, been watching your film since forever. Okay. <laughs> um, and it was a pleasure to watch Welcome to Marlin. Good. Yesterday. Thank you. Um, so I read about, you know, how you came, how you got this film. Um, your story goes you were watching Netflix and you're like, like, not Netflix, PBS. PBS, sorry. Right. Oh, Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, right. um, the Merwin Call. That Netflix wasn't in, wasn't around then. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was the Merwin Call uh, documentary. Documentary, right? right. Yeah. yeah. And you just made a call, and you're like, I want to make this. Well, that's that <laughs> sounds like a you know like a Hollywood story, but you know yes. the truth is uh, that is that I was given after that phone call, I was given the okay to like okay, let's go to the next step. And so it wasn't like, okay, you, you get to make the movie, but <laughs> let's see if we can, you know, acquire the rights. Let's see if we can get a screenplay written. Let's see, you know, so all the steps. So, but, but yes, it wasn't a rejection after that first phone call. Okay. Right? Um, I, I wonder, um, I always love how you blend the animation and the live action. Mm -hmm. um, how, when did the, the, the thought come that, hey, I could animate this? Well, first of all, it's not animated. Okay. It's all performance capture. Um, so, you know, so the actual human, human actresses and actors drive the avatars with their, with their entire performance. Um, but the idea came when I saw that documentary the first time because I thought, you know what? This guy takes, you know, our hero takes photographs, you know, that's all he had was a still camera. Mm -hmm. And then in between those photographs though, are these elaborate stories. And I thought, now that's something a movie can do, which is yeah. to bring those stories to life that are going on in the hero's mind. Yeah, and you do it very well. Um, and can you explain that again about the animation? Because I think that once people, the audience are wa is watching and they see the dolls and, and those stories with the, you know, the actual people, mm -hmm. it, it, can you explain the differences between? Right, well, animation is is an art form onto, its, onto itself because animation is, you know, animators basically they use computers, but we'll say it's hand drawn, mm -hmm. and it's an interpretation. It's a it's a it's a hand drawn performance where okay. an actor provides a voice, but the the actual movement of the actor of the creature's body and its face is all drawn by an animator. Okay. What happens in performance capture is an actor goes into the performance capture volume and their entire performance is captured. Every movement of their body, face, eyes, mouth, everything is captured um, in the volume. And then that's what the, uh, in our case, the doll skin is put around. And so the actual actor or actress is moving that, that, that doll. Amazing, amazing. Okay. Um, I wanna go, I wanna talk about your vast filmography. Mm -hmm. um, you've told so many stories and told them so well. Um, and this, at this point in your career, how do you, I mean, what is some of the criteria for um, finding a good story or for you to just say, I want to make this? What do you, what do you look for? I always look for one thing and, and, and actually most people think I look for things like to showcase visual effects, which I don't. Um, that's always secondary. But what I always look for is a human story. I always look for uh, I ask myself two questions. I say, is this a story that I would like to see? Mm -hmm. And do I? Th and then the second question is, do I think anyone else would like to see this story? And but they're basically always stories about a character and a character that has an arc, like you know, a character who has to grow and change in some way. And I think if you look at all my films, that's sort of the the main theme that runs through them. Definitely, definitely. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black.